Guys, can I just mention how right now it is 2 a.m. Show y'all. 2 a.m. And for some reason, I feel like I'm literally starving. So I just made some cereal. <laughs> literally gonna eat I look crazy because I was sleeping and I woke up and realized that I'm hungry and stuff so about to eat some cereal and stuff this has not happened to me in a very long while hi guys so one I'm a very spontaneous person today is Wednesday July 10th I always knew that I wanted to go to a school to do CNA and then work my way up eventually and this morning I just sat down and made that decision like literally earlier call the school and everything made an appointment to go see them at 12 o'clock to see if I can register and stuff like that now what sparked this like I said I've always known that I wanted to go and I've been asking for a transfer at my job for the longest from the Bronx to Queens and I found my supervisors kind of playing me where that's concerned and I've always been the person to who I know that I want to do something, but sometimes it takes me a while to get to what I want to do. And then one day I'll just get up and I'm ready and I know that I'm done. And today is the day. Now the classes are going to start on the 31st of July, which is like three weeks from now. So I have three more weeks pretty much of work. So three more weeks to work and then that's pretty much going to be it. If I keep the same schedule that I have for that last week, I'm going to work um, just two days out of the week, which is going to be the Sunday and the Monday because I'm normally off on a Tuesday and a Wednesday. So I'd be off anyways and then I just wouldn't go back. What happened was the other day I seen my supervisor deal with one of the girls really crazy. So the girl... She was working somewhere else and then a new supervisor came and, you know, they were friends from a long time and he asked her to come work there at her job. She left the job that she was doing, which was a bad call, where she was getting $15 an hour to come and work at my job, right? I don't know what he guaranteed her. I don't know. Maybe that she was going to get a solid 40 hours, which is good, which she was. But all of a sudden he started dealing with her crazy, so... She had a family emergency where one of her cousins met in an accident, which was bad, you know, and they had to go up there one Friday morning. And because she had to call out from work, I'm assuming because it's on a Friday too, he was really upset. Anyways, me and my coworker from the other side, we kind of covered the shift and made sure that, you know, everything was good because obviously the girl couldn't be there. But he was really mad. After that, he's going to text her and tell her that if she... If she does something like that again, he's going to be forced to cut her hours. And I just felt like, how could you tell somebody that you made leave where they were working first to come here? How could you tell them that? And this is an emergency. A true emergency. Like, she has proof that it's it's really happening for real. Which I feel like you're not supposed to have to prove, you know? And then, um, two, she has a kid. Normally when people have kids, emergencies are going to happen. Kids are like emergencies waiting to happen. You know, and I don't mean that in a bad way. If you have a job, one day something is going to happen with your kid where you're going to have to leave work for, you know, so you can't tell her that if something like this happens again, even though this time it had nothing to do with her kid, you can't tell her that if something like this happens again, you're going to have to be forced to cut her hours because she has a kid who something could be wrong with. Anyways, last week, one of the days, this was about a month ago, or maybe not a month, maybe about two, three weeks ago when this happened. Last week... One of the days, she was at work, and she was supposed to leave, I think, at 8 o'clock. And a little bit before 3 o'clock, she went to him, and she was like, Hi, manager. You know, something came up at home with my baby, and I'm afraid I'll have to leave at 3 o'clock because there will be no one to watch her. And he got so mad, and he started telling her, I can't work with you like this. You can't be doing this. Remember, this would have been the second time she did something like this, and obviously it's an emergency. Something came up. There's nobody to watch the baby. So I jokingly, I was standing there, so I jokingly said to her, then bring baby to work. And she said to him, can I bring my baby to work then? And he was just like, this is retail. I, I feel like I knew that she was being sarcastic when she said it, and so did she. But he obviously did not pick up on that. And he was like, this is retail, yada, yada, yada. I can't work with you like this. So I feel like you need to find something else or something like that. And when you find something else, let me know. And I was so 
upset. I was livid. And I said to her, if it was me, I would have left right now because this is not okay. You know, I get it. It's work and whatever. But this is also my kid. We're talking about it. As somebody who has kids too, you should know how this works. You don't just plan that, oh, I'm going to go to work today and then say something happened with my kid, even though some people don't, you know, but some things are, are emergencies that happens, you know, and I told her, I said, I felt like you shouldn't be here, you know, because seeing how he dealt with you, that's not okay. And especially since he made you leave where, well, he didn't make you, he asked you to leave where you were to come here and you did. And then he's dealing with you like this. Sometimes, sometimes things like this has to happen to us in life first to realize that the people who we really thought were in our corners, truth is they aren't, you know? So I told her, I said, I feel like you should, I feel like you shouldn't, you shouldn't come back. And, um, she was like, yeah, I think so too. So she sat and she was talking about it with her sister and she said, she's going to do one more week and then just not come back. And it so happened that this week, right now, today is the what? Today is the 10th. She, she's working today. So today is going to be her last day because... Thursday she's off and Friday morning she has an appointment with her baby and based on how it's been going with that man Friday when she calls to say hi I have an appointment to bring my baby to the doctor He's gonna just tell her not to come back So we were talking and she was like you know what I think Wednesday is just gonna be my last day and I said to her and Normally I'm not I'm not a vindictive person, but I just feel like you can't deal with people like this and feel like it's okay You know what I mean? I said to her I feel like when you leave Wednesday, you should just leave normally and know that you're not going back because he dealt with you dirty and not say nothing to nobody. Let him realize that, listen, if I don't come back, you're going to have to find somebody else. You know what I mean? So she decided that today, um, today is her last day. So I texted her this morning and I was like, hey girl, what's up? And I'm telling you, it's been bothering me since he did this to her. And I'm like, hey girl, what's up? And she was like, nothing. I said, how you feel about your last day? She's like excited. And I'm like, it... It has to be crazy that I'm actually thinking about leaving. And I've always thought about leaving. But I was telling her that I was actually online researching the schools and stuff. I remember looking at this particular school too before July started. And I'm like, maybe I should just leave and go to this school. But I've always been a procrastinator. But I feel like too, sometimes when you have something that you need to do, sometimes you got to just go ahead and just do it and not procrastinate. Because why are you procrastinating? You know, you're just wasting the time. It's no point in doing that. So I'm going to go to the school today. I have an appointment for 12 o'clock right now. It's 8.35 and I'm going to go sign myself up to start on what she said, the 31st. Yep, the 31st, which is going to be bright and early a Wednesday morning. It's not too expensive. I can afford it because I decided that I was going to save um, and make sure that I had the money to pay for this so that when I stop working, um, you know, I'll be fine. I'm not going to be asked out out here, but I don't know. I guess this is just a little story time to show you that at these little jobs. Also, sorry, my friend Brittany, she requested a specific schedule, right? Where she'd be off on the weekends. And when she requested the schedule, he's going to tell her that um, he doesn't feel like she should be off on the weekends because she sells the most hair, which is not true. Sis could not run the store by herself if you left her in there. And this is not me talking bad about her. It's just the truth because she's not that type of person who spends the time to look for nothing. So when she's looking for something, she always can't find it and always has to ask somebody else. That's just how she is. You know, some people are just like that. And my other friend was telling her that, you know, these people don't really care about you like that. They just care about who's making them the money and whatever. So it's you're not guaranteed nothing here. And I've been knew this from a long time when another girl used to work there for long. And then they just fired her because there was some beef with her and another girl. And they just took the other girl's side of the story and not even asked what was going, what was really going on. You know, not bring both girls together and find out what is going on. And I guess the moral of the story is these little jobs don't be caring about you sometimes, okay? They just want to make sure that you get the work done. So if there is something that you feel like you need to do for yourself, you got to just get up one day like me, how I'm getting up right now and go get it done because sitting down and procrastinating is not going to get you any further. Most times too, we don't get to the places where we want to be because we take so long to just make the first step. My mom is calling me. So I guess this is where I'm going to end this off. So I feel so accomplished. I went to the school right now. It is 2.30. I've been home for about 30 minutes. And 
I went to the school. I have the hiccups. I went to the school. I registered, paid my money. There's literally no turning back. Bought a uniform, blood pressure machine. Now I need to get um I need to get some more uniforms because their uniforms are white. Ugh. Already scaring the crap out of me. Because all I'm thinking is, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen when you're PMSing? But um yeah, I have bought the uniforms and everything. So I literally just have um three weeks left the girl who i was talking about she called me today and she was just like you know i went in this morning and he was looking at me kind of crazy and i just decided that i'm gonna go for lunch and i'm not gonna come back because it's just not a comfortable feeling and that i was telling her that i was just coming back from the school and i registered and i paid the money and everything so you know there's literally no turning back because these fees are probably non-refundable too so i have like i said this morning just um you have about two and a half weeks left yeah one two and a half weeks to be exact or two weeks and yeah two and a half weeks still left there and i'm gonna work like i have never worked before and i'm literally not saying nothing to nobody until like maybe the last day or the last two days tavia is my home girl so i might tell her before and stuff you know just so she gets ahead just so she gets a heads up but for the most part uh not going back you know it's just tragic but i'm really excited about the school and you know to go and do it and learn and just be done super excited about that i need to do a physical um so i need to get that done within the next two and a half weeks i think i'm gonna try and call a place and make an appointment to get that done and then um maybe i'm gonna make an appointment for next week tuesday so i can wake up early next tuesday go and do this physical and then i'm gonna be done maybe i could run back to the school drop the paper off and then um and then just start getting ready for the actual classes i'm super excited i've never man i feel so accomplished too and you know like i made use of this day off it's the first in a very long while i felt like i made full use of like a day off because before yeah i do things like cooking and whatnot but now you know, this is actually something important, something more than just making dinner and lunch prepping and whatever. And the classes are going to be from 9 to 3 or from 9 to 3.30. But whichever way it works, it's pretty short. You know, it's not taking up the whole day so I could still come home early because it's literally 30 minutes away on two buses. So I could still come home, make dinner, still feel accomplished, you know, and I hope... He don't fuck himself within these two and a half weeks because the fact that I already paid my money and everything, I will just leave. So he better not. Anyways, um, I think I've rambled enough. The I should have showed you guys the uniform and stuff. Let me see. So I got the blood pressure machine and then this is the uniform. I got a size large. Initially, she was giving me a size medium and then this is the... um. The paper for the physical initially she was giving me a size medium but she said i was telling her that the pants don't look like they're gonna fit so i tried it on in the bathroom and of course the pants look like if i sat they were gonna bust open so i'm just like um let me just get the large i feel like if it's big it's still gonna look nice anyways so it has these pockets right there and this one down here which i love I would have preferred if the uniform was a different color, but it's not that serious. I can make it work. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all for right now. Like I said, I'm going to call a place and make an appointment to go get the physical done so that I get that out of the way and I don't have that to worry about. But yeah, we're on our way.